Now, a somber night in Stillwater. Just hours ago, the community came together to remember the victims of the OSU homecoming parade crash. We are working for you tonight with live team coverage of today's memorial. We begin at Gallagher Iba Arena with my colleague, Brian Sanders. Brian? Karen, you're right. It was an emotional night here in Stillwater, but in some respects, it was a very spirited one as well. The OSU community came together not only to remember the four lives lost in the crash, but the dozens of survivors, the families, and the first responders on the scene. Representatives from Stillwater Police, Fire, EMS, the Oklahoma National Guard, all in attendance as hundreds packed into the arena to pay their respects. The OSU and Stillwater High School orchestras played, along with the OSU Pipe Band, and then Stillwater Mayor Gina Noble, OSU President Burns Hargis, and Lieutenant Governor Todd Lamb all spoke during the ceremony. One woman who was friends with Milton and Bonnie Stone, two of the victims killed, fought back tears after the service. Service was very good. It was very uh, enlightening, very uh, uplifting. Helps a lot to be able to to see people and to know who was there, the responders and all of that, and those others, the ones that are now out of the hospital. It was great to see those that could be able to make it. Donna Whitmore has been with the university for more than 30 years. She is no uh, stranger to the tragedy that has befallen this university as we take a look at the memorial behind us tonight here at the arena for the 10 men who died in the plane crash in 2001. So as the cowboy community continues to recover, so do the victims.